Alright, Hades Omega here. So, I'm installing some uh, Race Tech uh, fork springs. Race Tech. Race Tech. Uh, I just opened the box just now. Had them for a couple days, but uh, I'm going to install them on my KLX 140L here uh, with the KX 1085 uh, forks. So, so, here we go. So, these are some uprated springs. They're uh, 0 0.33 kgmm, and um, so here's what comes in the box. A lot of stickers, yay, we love stickers, right? Oh, there's some oil all over it though. Stickers, um, these fork springs, some spacer material, I probably won't use it, I don't know. Um, if I want to set the preload later, I will. But so race tech is going green. Preload must be set up. The strings in this kit may not be the same length as stock. Oh, ball sack. I thought this was going to be easy. Uh, but we'll see. Um, spacer material can be aluminum, steel, or PVC. So, there it is. Aluminum. They give you one. Um, so, I at least want to set it... Well, I can lower the bike this way, huh? Anyway. I'll just show you how easy it is to install these on the Kalex. So, so far, uh, I mean, I installed the rear shock, the BBR rear, sh rear shock, and the that red guy there. But um, this, I, I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot easier. <laughs> so, I took, I already took my six mil, and I loosened the the um, handlebar clamp bolts, and I moved the handlebars and then, uh, back. And I have to uh, get a so get the socket and loosen the four caps. Which I'm gonna do now. Okay, well I almost forgot that you should probably put it on a jack or something to let the weight off the socks. Um, yeah, I probably don't need to have it up in the air like this, but I have the jack, I use it. So, so it's a 30 millimeter. I don't really have. I'm gonna have to take the handlebars off because it kind of gets in the way. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, handlebars are off. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I thought it was going to be easier than that, but not really. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get my wrench and socket and take that off. I wish I had um, a 30 millimeter uh, um, closed-end wrench, but uh, I, I don't think I do. Okay, so I've opted to use a impact gun to speed the process up. Alright, so I'm unscrewing and I'm unscrewing and I figured out like these are backwards from uh, from normal shocks. They're unvarded forks. So uh, once you loosen this, the um, the way to get the the whole rod assembly out is you have to like actually move the you have to actually move the fork tubes in so it comes out the the bottom of like a normal shock. So like I said, it's upside down. It's upside down fork. So. So then, what I have to do now to get this fork out is uh, I have to uh, I have to loosen the cap and then hold the and then un un unscrew it right here where this nut is. All right. So I've gone ahead and put a 17 mil in there. You kind of have to wedge it between the spring, or I could have just moved the spring downward a little bit, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll do this with one hand. Oh, boy. There you go. The cap comes out. So I'd already uh, changed the oil and I changed the seals on this shock. These uh, forks not long ago. So I'm not going to go ahead and uh, play around with the oil and all that stuff. Okay, let's make sure you don't lose any of this stuff. There's one. So like I said, I had to lower the I had to lower the jack a little bit so the the forks the fork twos would push up into the, the body. So there it is. 
and then I can take my spring out. I'm not really sure where the spacers go. Anyway, um, so this is going to be messy. I have to get my oil thingy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this out and just kind of like get some of the oil out of there. Okay. Actually, not messy at all. Okay, that's cool. Get that there. And just put our uh, other spring back in. So, so I'm kind of remembering the way this was. Um, it looks like the spring goes, the coils go clockwise. So I want to install it the same way. So as you can see, oh boy, it's almost it's almost hard to tell which one is which. Um, the um, the race tech springs are these ones, and this is the one I just pulled out. So they're the same length. So I don't think I have to adjust any kind of spacer. So honestly, uh, I tried to compress the springs with my with my arms, and uh, really they feel they don't feel much different, and uh, they're the same length. They almost look the same. You can see here it's just 33 here for 33 um, kgmm. Um, I don't know, man. Let me go. Let me go uh, measure the coils. All right, so I got my caliper here. I'm gonna go measure one of the coils. So we got. 3.78 and 3.89. So there you go. It is uh, indeed a uh, wait, wait, wait. 3.82, 3.87. So it, it's a little bit thicker, just a little bit. So hopefully that that thickness throughout the whole coil makes a big difference. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just install these. So, so like I said, I wanted to install, uh, it was installed clockwise, so when I run my hand down here, it should go down if I go clockwise, so that's the way I want them. Plus the numbers, the numbers are facing up, so that's another way to tell if I'm installing it correctly or not. I'm just going to put this down here, slide it right in there. Okay, and then put the fork cap back on. Okay, so uh, this is going to take a two hand manipulation. Oh, wait, I can kind of sort of do it with one hand for a little bit. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is going to take two-hand manipulation. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, actually, not really. I'm doing everything by one hand. <laughs> anyway, you get the picture. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the wrench back on and then uh, tighten it with the socket again. Okay, so what I've kind of found out is, uh, um, is that you kind of need a skinny wrench to get in here. So if you have um, big fat wrenches like... The Craftsman ones here, or a bigger, uh, like it's it's good to have like a skinny wrench because uh, it doesn't fit between the coils very well. So I use this this um, this adjustable wrench to help me loosen it, tighten it. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it in there anymore because it is a uh, it is actually thicker than the, the stock springs. All right, there we go. It's in there. I got both of them in there now. I just have to push down the, or the easy way would be to raise the bike. So I'll raise the bike and the the rod should just go down automatically through the because of the weight of the wheel. Or not. I just need to push down on them. <laughs> So it's easier doing this with the forks off of the bike, but whatever. All right, so it's quite, it's a little bit hard to push out. Um, what the hell? Seems like there's more, it seems like it's a longer spring, but it's not. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push, push it down, fork cap, tighten it. It's, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Yeah. 
batteries ran out. Anyway, so here I am tightening the port cap back on. So one, I'll just keep it snug right now before I torque it. And then I just got to do the other one. specs real quick. Alright, well, so I have the factory manual for this, so I might as well look it up, right? But the thing is, uh, I don't have a... This is for a KLX 140 and not a KX100. This, this is the thing. But whatever, I'll just use the same spec. Should be pretty similar to what it should be. But anyway, I'll let you know when I find Alright, well, here it is. I think that's what I'm looking for. Number four. Fork top bolt. And you torque it at 17 foot pounds, not a whole lot. So, probably 17, 20 foot pounds should be fine. So, I'm gonna go get my handy dandy torque wrench here. Probably, I'll just put it like Tony. Should be fine. Oh man, I forgot to loosen the torque on my torque wrench already. Alright, here it is. Pounds. Keep the fork from moving here with my knee. That's 20. Not a lot. 20 is not a lot of torque. That's it. Done. Almost. I just have to put the handlebars back on. Alright, getting there. I got the bars on there. Just need to lower it and then set the height and tighten it. Just gonna go ahead and lower it right now. Can't do that. I can't do that without my <laughs> without my hands. Alright, there it is, all back together. It wasn't too hard. It was a little bit more work than I thought. I, I totally forgot that the, the the four caps are connected to the um the damper rods and everything. There it is. Um, I'll just have to take it for a spin uh, off road to see how it does. But uh, before the front was kind of was bottoming out a lot. You couldn't sit down on it, um, or else it would bottom out. I'll see if I uh, see if it's better now. All right, it is a mega out.